Good morning everyone, welcome to session 1. Yes, dear students, in this session we are going to be discussing about uh, there are different kinds of plants and animal species present in our living world. And these plant and animal species distributed in different parts of our earth and a different habitat. So this is called biodiversity. And these plants and animal species protected by different methods. So that is called ex situ and in situ method. Conservation, protection. Protection is nothing but conservation. So dear students, in this session, we are going to discuss about second PU chapter 15 that is called biodiversity and conservation. Yes, bio which means life or diversity which means variety or variety of life. Yes, biodiversity is the diversity of biological organization uh, ranging from cellular macromolecules to biomes. Yes, dear students, already we had discussed about uh, lower level of biological organization to higher level of biological organization to biomes. So, biodiversity is the uh, diversity of biological organization ranging from cellular macromolecules. Cellular macromolecules. macromolecules to biomes to biomes so this is called biodiversity conservation is nothing but protection later we will discuss about conservation biodiversity the term popularized by edward wilson edward wilson he was socio biologist the biodiversity term was popularized by Edward Wilson, socio-biologist. There are uh, three levels of uh, biodiversity. The first one is genetic biodiversity, genetic diversity, genetic diversity, species diversity, species diversity and ecological diversity ecological ecological diversity see these are all the three levels of biodiversity three levels of biodiversity yes the first one is genetic diversity Yes, it includes diversity at genetic level or diversity shown by a single species at genetic level. Diversity at genetic level. Genetic level. See which means, which means the number, number and types of chromosomes types of chromosomes chromosomes genes genes and their alleles alleles which is nothing but alternative forms of genes that is called a dominant and a recessive in a species in a species see this is called genetic diversity genetic diversity which means diversity at a genetic level the single species shows diversity at genetic level which means number and the types of chromosomes and their genes and alleles in their genes in a single species alleles is nothing but alternative forms of genes so for example rohulfia vomitoria rohulfia vomitoria See, this Rahulvia vomitoria is grown in different uh, Himalayan ranges. It shows genetic variation in their potency and concentration of chemical substance. The active chemical substance produced by 
this is Rahulfia of Amateuria, that is called Reserpine. It's called Reserpine. And the India has 50,000 different stains of rice and 1,000 varieties of mangoes. 1,000 varieties of mangoes. So, these are all about genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is the diversity shown by a single species at a genetic level which means number and types of chromosomes, genes and their alleles in a species. For example, Rahulfeya vamaturia, it is grown in uh, different Himalayan ranges. It shows genetic variation in their potency and the chemical substance, concentration of chemical substance produced by this plant that is called reserpine. And the India has more than 50,000 different strains of rice and 1,000 varieties of mangoes. Yes, the next one is species diversity. See, it includes diversity at species level. Diversity at species level. Species level. So, this is called species diversity. See, which means types and number of species in area. Types and number of species in area. Number of species in area. So, this is called species diversity. For example, the western gods have more amphibian species than Eastern gods. The Western gods, gods have more amphibian species, have more amphibian species than Eastern gods. Eastern gods. This is all about species diversity. Species diversity is the diversity at a species level, which means number and types of species in an area. Example, example, Western gods have more amphibian species than Eastern gods. This is all about species diversity. The last one is ecological diversity. Ecological diversity is the diversity at ecosystem level. A diversity at ecosystem level or, or ecological diversity it represents the biodiversity at the level of communities. So, for example, India has great ecosystem diversity than Scandinavian country Norway because of India has wide variety of ecosystems like desert rainforest, wetlands, mangroves, estuaries, alpine meadows, etc. So, these are all about ecological diversity. So, totally there are three levels of biodiversity that is called genetic diversity, species diversity and ecological diversity. Yes, the next concept is total number of species on earth. Total number of species on earth or global species diversity global species diversity yes dear students according to IOCN IOCN say IOCN 2004 see the Yes, the expansion of IOCN, International Union for Conservation of Natural Resources and Nature, 2004. According to this, 1.5 million, 1.5 million of species described so far. But according to Robert Mays, according to Robert Mays, global estimate 
seven million species seven million species would have on earth but he considered species to be discovered in tropics which means only 22% of species have been recorded so far animals are more diverse about 70% then the plant includes plant and fungi 22 percentage animals are more diverse about 70 percentage then the plants include plant tree and fungi 22 percentage among animals insects are the species rich group 70 percent you see which means out of every 10 animals out of every 10 animals seven are insects seven are insects the number of fungal species the number of fungal species is more than combined total of the species of fishes amphibians and mammals andre fishes amphibians mammal ishtuna combine madidre idikkinta jaasti number of fungal species ide india has only 2.4 percentage of world's lands area but 8.1 percentage of species diversity and india is the one of the 12th mega diversity countries of the world and nearly 45000 45000 species of plants and animals have been recorded from india Applying Robert May's global estimate, India has 1 lakh species of plants and 3 lakh species of animals. So, this is according to Robert May's estimate, global estimate in India. But total number of prokaryotic species not ensured by biologists. So, because of the conventional taxonomic method is not suitable for identifying the microbial species and in laboratory many species cannot be cultured so this is all about global species diversity the next concept is biodiversity patterns biodiversity patterns see there are uh, two patterns one is latitudinal gradients latitudinal gradients and the second one is species area relationship species area or relationship yes latitudinal gradients see all over the world the biodiversity or the species diversity is not uniform some areas has more species it shows more diverse some areas has less species it shows less diverse what are those conditions what are those factors that decide the biodiversity or number of species in an area yes the factors the condition is latitudinal gradient latitudinal gradients gradients see which means according to this where exactly particular area located on globe that decide species diversity that decide biodiversity see for example as we move away from equator to poles as we move away from equator to poles the species diversity is decreases the species diversity is decreases decreases so which means in equator in equator the species diversity is rich as we move away from the equator towards poles 
the species diversity is decreases and the another one example in tropics tropics the latitudinal ranges of 23.5 degree north to 23.5 degree south has more species than temperate than temperate and our polar areas has more species the tropical latitudinal ranges of 23.5 degree north to 23.5 degree south has more species than temperate and polar areas the another example we can observe number of birds at different latitudes so for example in colombia colombia the colombia located near equator near equator so it has 1400 species of birds and in india in india in tropical region tropics it has more than 1200 species of birds when come to new york new york 41 degree north 41 degree north it has 105 105 species of birds species of birds and greenland and in greenland 71 degree north it has 56 species of birds see this are all number of birds in different latitudes yes colombia the colombia located near equator it has 1400 species of birds india in tropical region has more than 1200 species of birds new york 41 degree north it has 105 105 species of birds greenland it has greenland 71 degree north it has 56 species of birds tropical forest region like equator has more than 10 times of vascular plants than the temperate region forest like midwest of usa dear students usually the tropical regions has more species diversity so for example tropics of amazon forest tropics of amazon forest which is lungs of the planet amazon forest lungs of the planet because of it produce 20 percent of oxygen on the earth and this amazon forest contain 4000 species of plants and 3000 species of fishes and 1300 species of birds and 427 species of mammals and amphibians and 327 species of reptiles and 1,25,000 species of invertebrates. Why the tropical region has more biodiversity which means species richness? So because of the tropics had more evolutionary time which means speciation. The formation of new species takes millions of years without disturbance. And the another one thing constant environment constant suitable environment see here in tropics less seasonal there is no different seasons and the last one it receive more solar energy to increase the productivity so these are all the reasons why the tropics has species richness number one tropics had more evolutionary time and constant environment less seasonal and which receive more solar energy which helps to increase the productivity of species this is all about latitudinal gradients yes the second pattern is species area relationship see this pattern says 
if we go on increasing the area the number of species will be increased but up to certain limit andre nam area na increase maartta iddage enagutte number of species jaasti agutte but limit alli okay yes according to german naturalist and geographer alexander van humboldt humboldt yes while working in a forest of south america he suggested within a region species richness increases with increasing explored area but up to certain limit so this is called species area relationship area increase aagta iddage species number of species kuda increase agutte but ಒಂದು ಲಿಮಿಟಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ರೀಜಿಯನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ರೀಜಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ರಿಚ್ನೆಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ರಿಚ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ increasing explored area but certain but up to certain limit but yes the relationship between species richness and area gives rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola but on logarithm scale the relationship is a straight line is described by the equation the derivation is log s is equal to log c plus z log a yes your s is species richness species richness and a is the area a is the area and z is the slope of line slope of straight line so slope of straight line and c is the y intercept c is the y intercept see here yes is the species richness a is the area z is the slope of straight line c is the y intercept see here the important thing is z slope of the straight line that slope of the straight line indicates number of species in particular area yes number of species z indicates number of species in particular area particular area see for example the smaller areas the z value is 0.12.2 and the species area relationship for larger areas entire continent shows the z value is 0.621. yes for example the frugivorous birds and the mammals in tropical forest of different continents shows z value is 1.15 the frugivorous birds and mammals from tropical region of different continent shows the z value is 1.15 see this is all about species area relation ship Yes, dear students, in this session, we have discussed about what is biodiversity and the levels of biodiversity that is called genetic species and ecological diversity and the total number of species on earth, global species diversity and we also discussed about total number of Indian species and patterns of biodiversity that is called latitudinal gradients and species area relationship. Thank you.